the moment if LeBron James were to win this, oh man, that wasn't worth nothing. Why? What? Right. But if somebody else win it, oh, Kobe would have won. Jordan would have won. Mm -hmm. This one would have won. Right, 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 right. You got to do whatever you can to try to minimize the man's mm -hmm. greatness. But because he's been great for so long, and not just great, mm -hmm. we're talking about historically. We're talking about transcendent or transcendental. Mm -hmm. That's how great he's mm -hmm. been. We got to try to, instead of appreciating it, and sometimes we don't really mm -hmm. appreciate things until it's gone. We've all mm -hmm. been in relationships. We took advantage of mm -hmm. that person's kindness and even mm -hmm. what she was mm -hmm. doing mm -hmm. or what he was doing. Mm -hmm. And then when they left, mm -hmm. you realize yeah. how special that person was and everybody was, yeah. isn't necessarily replaceable because we have that mindset. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just go find me someone else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it might be, no, it ain't, it ain't like that. <laughs> and, and the funny thing about it, and uh, it, it goes in not just relationships, just in life mm -hmm. and journey where you meet people, friends, sometimes even family. And when it comes to sports figures, sports figures like LeBron, or you think of the Jerry Rices and um, yeah. let me see some of some, some of the great quarterbacks. You, you think those players are replaceable. They, other mm -hmm. other great players will come along. But those type of players, right. you have to appreciate them while you're here because what LeBron is doing and what LeBron you, has done. You may done never see it again. The past 2020, you may never see anything like that again. Now, you might get, get some close. You might get some phenoms. You get might get some unbelievable freaks, freaks of nature that play the game of basketball. But what he has been able to accomplish since reaching the NBA, coming out of high school, I don't think we'll ever see anything to that magnitude, but, especially this consistent for so but long. But here's the thing. Normally, guys that played this long, they were big. Mm -hmm. Kareem, they were Robert mm -hmm. Parrish, there was Kevin Willis, mm -hmm. there was Dirk Nowitzki. Mm -hmm. They weren't athletic yeah. like LeBron. They weren't required mm -hmm. to run the show like Le LeBron. You look at BC, Vince Carter, although he played a long time, all, most of these guys came off the bench. Mm -hmm. LeBron James is a starter. He's yeah. playing 33 to 35 minutes on a nightly basis. Some right. nights he's playing 38 to 40 minutes on a nightly basis. And he's giving you 27. Yeah. He ain't giving yeah. you seven. He ain't giving mm -hmm. you two. He's yeah. just not, well, I'm just holding on. He's <laughs> playing at a level that if I didn't tell on. you his age, you wouldn't know his age. No, it's exactly. the situation, Ocho, we were talking about everything is replaceable. Mm -hmm. I, I I remember uh, my aunt, I ain't gonna say her name, rest her soul, but uh, she broke up with a boyfriend. Mm. And my my grandmother really liked this guy. Guy mm -hmm. go to church, he picked my aunt up, take mm -hmm. her, bring her, when she needs something, he would mm -hmm. get it. She broke up with him. And uh, uh, my grandma say, well, I don't know why you broke up with him. Right. She say, mama, they plenty fish in the sea. My Ooh. granny said, yeah, but you might not catch him. Mm. But that's a good one. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. And so, you know, I know that that happened to a lot of people, especially a lot of yes. women that feel that is one thing about it. I'm, I'm just short tidbit really to bounce off, bounce off what we're talking about, about people being replaceable and always thinking with women. Sometimes when women are with certain individuals, you get so much attention from other men. You yes. So much attention to other men, you lose sight of what you got at home sometimes. Yes. And the funny and the funny thing about it is everybody wants you. Everybody wants you when you're not their responsibility. Mm -hmm. Everybody loves yeah. you when they're not your responsibility. And the, and the minute you free, the minute you free up and you can become yeah. his responsibility. Oh no, nah, they don't want you no more. They Nothing don't want they don't want you no more. Ocho. Uh -uh. And I'm not telling you something someone told me, I'm telling you what you what I know. Yes, sir. Nothing makes you feel better than a new set of eyes. Mm. You see, when 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 she's looking at you, mm -hmm. it doesn't feel the same as mm -hmm. if the woman walking across the street and she turns mm -hmm. back and look at you. Yeah. Or she don't and she give you that smile. Hey, uh -huh. how you doing? There's on, nothing preacher. like that. Mm -hmm. And so you have to be careful. Because mm -hmm. I've been in situations is mm -hmm. that I'm I'm like. Oh, okay. You think you, yeah, you think yeah, your boy yeah. like that? You like all this? Yeah. Yeah, you, you like two, you, you like you like right. two fifty built like a brick outhouse. Yeah, <laughs> but the same thing that mm -hmm. the one that you're with is telling you, it doesn't mm -hmm. sound as good to the ears. No. As, as no, the it one don't. Over there. The, the funny thing about it is, like I, I man, this is so funny. Me and Real, we talked about this earlier today. It's so mm -hmm. funny when you tell when you. When real tell a kid something over and over and over and over and over and over, and the fact that they always hear a voice and always hear a voice, they listen, but they don't do it right away. But yeah. then when they hear from somebody else that they don't hear from all the time, and, you, mm -hmm. and I got to say it one time, 
and it get done right away. Yes. It's some of the same concept and same analogy when you're hearing it from the same person all the time, hearing it from your man. It, and I, I hate, I'm just being honest. When you're hearing it from your man and you're hearing it from your girlfriend, or your boyfriend, oh, you look good. Oh, you look beautiful in yeah. that dress. Oh, you look gorgeous today. But mm -hmm. to hear it from a different voice that yeah. you don't hear from all the time, it hits different, no matter yeah. what anybody says. It just mm -hmm. does. It's human nature. It's natural. There's no need to the 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 shy from it. I mean, it it just it is what it yeah. is. My ki my kids just say, "Well, daddy, all you you all you you keep complaining. You keep asking mm. us to do stuff over and over." I mm -hmm. said, "I wouldn't nag you if you did it the first time. Mm. It only becomes nagging because I got to ask your ass over and over, over and over. Yeah, yeah. But then I got to the point that I realized my kids really is like their mom." It mm -hmm. was, I don't know what it is because my voice projects, it carries. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so when I say something the first time, mm -hmm. get done. <laughs> the first time it's thunder. The next time was mm -hmm. lightning. Right, right. So I I, I ain't finna keep telling you. I ain't, finna, I ain't finna tongue wrestle with you all night. <laughs> I tell you one time, that's it. Right. So, because my grandfather always say, boy, you're never rationing with a child. You never mm -hmm. have to explain yourself to a child. A child you told right. the child to do something. That's it. Well, mm -hmm. why? Boy, my grandfather would lose his mind. Hearing why? What? <laughs> a, right. a child? Mm -hmm. Ask question an adult. adult why right. we going here? Why right. we doing this? Mm -hmm. Why we gotta eat that? Right. Man, Barney Porter didn't play that. Mary Porter yeah. didn't play that. Right. And if if Granny says something, it mm -hmm. was the same as Papa said something. Because mm -hmm. we already know. If mm -hmm. Papa ever came home and Granny said, Barney, you know them boys. It was yeah. over. It wasn't right. no question asked, Mary, what did they do? What did they mm -hmm. say? Mm -hmm. Barney, you know them boys ain't? It's over. Right. If she came home and one of them girls, Barney ain't play that. It's so I learned early on to do something right the first time. Mm -hmm. And so whether he said it or she said it, mm -hmm. it didn't matter. It, matter. it was all coming from one. And there was no, well, go ask your granny. If, if he said, go ask Mary, Mm -hmm. granny and she said no don't go back to him mm -hmm. because he's in earshot it meant no mm -hmm. and she right. said well i don't know you need to go ask you need to go ask barney mm -hmm. it's, i mean why would i even go back to granny if he said no right right you already know what it is they were they were they were in, they were in straight lines with that mm -hmm. so the lakers advanced to the first ever in-season tournament the winner will get uh, $500,000, which is a lot of money to a lot of these guys. Now, mm -hmm. LeBron James, LeBron James is doing like $130 million on and off the court. Mm -hmm. 500000 But it's the fact it's a competition. Yeah. When I shoot pool, when I roll dice, I'm rolling dice. I used to roll dice with guys. Dang, bro, what, what, what is $20 to me if I hit a lick? Nothing. Mm -hmm. But right. it was the fact it's competition. competition. I and, I don't it. and I don't want you to beat me. Right. So that's how these guys looking at it. Some of these guys, <clears throat> excuse me, you know, making 50, 60 million dollars, it ain't gonna mm -hmm. do nothing. But what about the guy that's on a non-guaranteed contract? Yeah. What about the guy that's on a two-way contract? Yeah. Five hundred thousand dollars is gonna do a lot for him. A lot. Yeah. Yeah. And so now you're thinking about it, because that's how we thought we go into the playoffs. Now all of a sudden, guys get in that pool. So now mm -hmm. the special now the uh, uh the practice squad guys, they're gonna get salaries for an extra week or yeah. an extra two weeks. Or mm -hmm. an extra three weeks, or they're gonna get part of the uh, uh, the Super Bowl money, the playoff money. Mm -hmm. I thought about things like that. The coaches now, all of a sudden, they get some of that playoff money because they're not check. you're not making. I mean, unless you're Coach Belichick or right. Pete Carroll, some of these coaches mm -hmm. that's making seven, eight, ten, fifteen million dollars. But right. for the most part, not when I was playing, Ocho guys, coaches didn't make that kind of bread. Right. So that was good, and so I thought about that, and plus the uh, uh, the workers, the the uh, the trainers, the equipment mm -hmm. staff. Now, all of a sudden, you know, because we always took up money and, you know, I always gave a large sum of money because I appreciated mm -hmm. them. And I mm -hmm. know that's their job right. is to, if you're an athletic trainer, to take my ankles to make sure I'm healthy and get back on the field. I mm -hmm. understand the equipment manager is to make sure my uniform is clean and hung up in my lock and all of that stuff. And I understood it was a janitor, the custodial services mm -hmm. and the people that prepare. I got all of that, Ocho. I understood that. But it was just something in me. Because I was fortunate. God looked down on me and said, you know what? I'm going to be a football player. Mm. And I'm going to give you discipline. I'm going to give you de determination. And I'm going to give you dedication. Right. But in return for that, I need you to pay it back. And so that's how I thought about it, Ocho. That's right. that's just me. Now, everybody, like, I mean, some people give $40 something. And I'm fine. Just give what you can. 
Right. Just get what you can. But you know, the guys that made made, you know, we was making three, four million dollars back then. Oh, mm-hmm. what's what's five thousand? What's ten thousand dollars to a guy that's making that kind of money? 